This week on IEP News Center, Brandon Byrne provides information on how you can take part in celebrating the Day of the Dead at IEP. Also, what grade does IEP get when it comes to recycling? The latest trash audit shows us how well we recycle. Plus your latest updates in weather, sports, and entertainment right here on IEP News Center. Center. I'm Jennifer Alshaus and I'm Alexis Johnson. The University Museum at IEP will be presenting a new exhibition in John Sutton Hall called Capturing the Moment, Photography at IEP from Saturday, November 16th through the December 7th. The public is invited to a free opening reception on opening day from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Capturing the Moment is a photographic celebration of those moments that make up our lives, Christopher Jungle, one of the exhibition's curators, and members of the Communications Media Department faculty at IEP. Do you always pay to park in the Indiana borough? Well, you better start paying each time when the new year hits. Indiana borough intends to hire more parking enforcement officers on the streets in 2014. They will be monitoring cars parking illegally and making sure permanent parking is only for those intended. Make sure you always park on the right side of the road. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not all about the whole haunted tours kind of thing. Me either. I'm, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> not, not a fan of ghosts. Like, I, I hear a little jump in the night, and I'm all looking around. Like, yeah, oh. I, and then even when you know it's fake, I don't like being terrified. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I've never quite <laughs> understood the whole reason why you'd want to be scared. Right. I guess some people get a thrill out of it. Well, now for a short break. When we come back, your weekly sports update and news with IEP News Center. Now, IUP will soon be welcoming a brand new humanities and social sciences building. The groundbreaking ceremony was held between Sutton and Clark Halls on Friday afternoon. Here's IUP's new center's Alexis Johnson with more on that event. Alexis? Hello, IUP. Alexis Johnson here for the IUP News Center. Today, we're here at Sutton Hall for the groundbreaking ceremony of the new humanities and social sciences building, which is to begin its construction right here between Clark Hall and Sutton Hall. Many members of the IEP community were in attendance at the ceremony, including IEP's provost and vice president for academic affairs, Timothy Moreland, who opened the ceremony. For alumni, though they may be a little sad about seeing some familiar buildings go, they may now also celebrate that their alma mater takes a big step today. Several others gave remarks, including IEP President Michael Driscoll, who had much to say regarding his excitement about the new facility. It is a facility that will help us do that. We agree that technology needs to be used to enhance the great learning that we do already in the classroom, face-to-face -face direct interaction with our faculty. This new facility is designed to have that cool technology that's not a substitute for the rest of our educational experience, but makes it so much better. The Dean of the Colleges of Humanities and Social Sciences, Yao Asamoa, also expressed his excitement by stating that he never thought he would see the construction of a new building during his professional career. Many of my faculty colleagues had given up the hope that this would ever happen in their professional lifetime at IU. I'm grateful to be able to bring our faculty and students closer together and to have the learning space we need to do the very best we can. Education experience. After the closing remarks, 19 faculty members participated in the breaking of the ground. <laughs> Construction of the new Humanities and Social Sciences building is expected to begin in spring of 2014. For the IEP News Center, I'm Alexis Johnson. Now back to the news desk. Thanks, Alexis. And now for your latest in entertainment, Alexis joins us to give you the inside scoop. Hello IEP, Alexis Johnson here for IEP News Center with your weekly update in entertainment news. So let's get started. The film industry and fans across the world are mourning the death of actor and star of Fast and Furious series Paul Walker, who was killed in a car crash last Saturday in Southern California. Walker, age 40, was a passenger in the red 2005 Porsche Carrera GT that crashed into a utility pole and burst into flames. 
Reports say that speed was indeed a factor in the crash. Walker's business partner and driver. The Discovery Club is hosting a trip to New York City on Saturday, November 2nd. While visiting, you're allowed to explore various sites, including Times Square, the Statue of Liberty, and the Empire State Building. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. On behalf of IEP News Center, I'm